I've been an energy activist really since that first energy crisis during the Arab-Israeli War in 1973 when there was a skyrocket in oil prices. I was already concerned about the uh, potential impact of global warming and the dangers of nuclear power and got very involved in the anti-nuclear movement and which became a clean energy, safe energy anti-nuclear movement. I worked in a worker co-op that installed uh, solar and wind installation while there were credits for high-end and subsidies for low-end consumers in the late Carter and early Reagan administrations. So I've been on this issue for a long time. That's decades now and we still have not taken the serious steps we need to avert global warming, the acidification of the oceans, and all the ways our energy system is leading us toward ecological collapse. On top of that, there are the security issues. Uh, oil doesn't cost what you pay at the pump. I've seen estimates as high as $400 a gallon when you count all the military we put into the Middle East to protect our access to oil, because that's what those wars are really about. So what do we do in New York? Well, first of all, we don't frack New York. Hydraulic fracturing, uh, putting under high pressure toxic chemicals, water and sand to fracture the shale to let the gas escape by the same companies that were drilling in the uh, Gulf with uh, British Petroleum, like Halliburton. Halliburton built showers that electrocuted soldiers in Iraq. That's, I don't want them in New York drilling with this dangerous technology. That, that uh, toxic soup that goes down under high pressure to fracture the rock comes back up, and we've got to treat that. It's, it's just an ecological nightmare. Uh, besides the carbon savings uh, from, from natural gas, according to a scientist at Ithaca, may be even less than with coal because a lot of methane escapes into the atmosphere. So that's not the way to go. Nuclear power is certainly not the way to go. We, it's been one of the most disastrous industries economically. They won't build them without, Wall Street won't finance them without guarantees from the federal government on the loans. And we still don't know what to do with the waste. And if we have a catastrophic accident, uh, you know, we saw what happened at Chernobyl. Uh, we got decrepit old nukes at Indian Point and Nine Mile Point in the state, and the longer they run at that age, the more dangerous they become. They should be phased out. What do we do? Conservation, efficiency, solar, wind, smart grid, uh, green buildings. There's, we know what to do. I used to do this, you know, with my hands as a carpenter back in the 70s and early 80s. The basic technology is there. Of course it can be improved, but that's what we've got to do. We've got to have a massive investment. I believe it ought to be on the scale of the Manhattan Project or the World War II mobilization. You know, because if we're going to head off global warming, which some scientists say we need to do within the next decade, we've got to put all our effort into converting our energy system. And that means rebuilding all our buildings, retrofitting all our buildings, building new sources of uh, energy from renewable sources to generate electricity and heat. And that's what we need to do also to start the economy. So the energy program can be an economic renewal program, but it's got to be clean energy. And all these short-term fixes have long-term costs, as we're seeing now in the Gulf with that oil disaster from deep well drilling by BP.